Hello, my friends, family, esteemed colleagues. I guess this is my last video in uh, the old system. Expecting the realities to start shifting. And uh, besides the point, to give my take on the stubborn belly fat. Now, this is probably one of the most common topic or question directed my way. And when we are on a correct diet and hydration, uh, the body releases what no longer serves it. And uh, one of those things is excessive fat buildup. Now, why do we have the fat storages? Because our cellular energy production is programmed to be on fat. So our cells are designed to use fat to produce the electric charge that powers the body. Well, it does it, but it is only a programmed part of our reality because we are made out of energy, the royal field that is always powered. We are the consciousness that creates this. So the necessity for us to eat and produce energy that way is there because of the program and by it well, we produce maybe I don't know five six percent of the total energy of that we that we actually use and the biggest user is the brain uh, the broadcasting the thought process and uh, when we eat correctly, the body is programmed, human body, to hold about 20% extra weight in reserve fuel. So this way, if you cannot find the food, you can function normally for days, weeks, before you will get depleted of the stored reserve that sufficiently that your body is going to start showing problems. So when we are working correctly and we have a maximum of uh, the deposited storage fat, even for one week, 10 days, even for two weeks, if we don't, didn't find the food, and then we see opportunity, and as hunters may involve the running, well, we still have enough energy to actually run and gather food. Anyone that did uh, fasting for more than two weeks knows that, you know, we still are fully functional. Uh, on my 27-day uh, fast, until the last day I was going to gym. Yeah, I had a little less power, but I was still functioning normally, which means I could have hunted. And uh, yeah, my zoo. <laughs> so uh, it is essential for the survival that every uh, what we call living organism has a reserve food. Like uh, you don't make any vehicle without tank of fuel. So you don't have to go from a corner to corner and put some fuel in a carburetor. It sucks it from the reserve tank that you have your fuel in there. So through the body, we have a tissue, we call it adipose tissue, 
which serves as a storage for fat. And uh, it is also strategically positioned because the fat is good isolator, especially from cold. This is why animals or mammals that live in the cold uh, temperatures, they are normally fattier. And the fat is then subcutaneous, so it's mostly underneath the skin through the body. And so is with humans. We are also designed the same way. So when we start loading more and more reserve fat, we become roundish. We start losing the characteristics of our look. We become puffy. You know, to me, fat people are not interesting because they all look alike. There's just puffiness. You lose contours, you lose cheekbones, you lose the facial characteristics. And this is why I preferred fit people. Doesn't mean skinny, but fit with maximum 20% extra weight. And what happens that a lot of this extra weight is stored right around our belly. We call it love handles and pork belly, okay? Because we can again compare, make comparison with a car. In a car, it's not visible, it's internal, but you have a tank and you have a scale and it shows you how much fuel you have. And everything is fine, everything is fine until you hit the margin of concern. And we call that reserve. So from there on to the bottoming down, you have what we call now the reserve of the fuel. And there is a light bulb and light shows up on your screen, on your instrument, plane and tells you know oh light is on I need a fuel but you still have fuel sometimes you can do another 30 miles or more after the lamp is on but you are putting yourself in a risk because you know you are getting low on fuel when you're out of fuel you <coughs> croak well that's what happens with a a car with the body, when we are out of fuel, or when we hit the reserve, already the body starts rationing and it starts partially disintegrated muscles that you don't use and turning them into fuel. Just to keep the reserve fuel always available. Well, the reserve fuel, the reserve of the storage fuel is around our belly. So when you start losing weight, uh, you first show it in the face. Face gets thinner, then you show it in the fingers, in arms, then throughout the body. And your face, face may already look drained. And the fingers thin. And you still have this pot belly little flap on your and this is what concerns people especially this happens with people that start stopped playing as uh, the saying goes oh, we stopped playing because we got old no we got old because we stopped playing as long as you are active you are going to look different than when you become sedentary because the storage is of a fuel, storage is of the fat, are not going to be drained from the reserve. Now this, this keeps there. 
it is being drained closer to the organ that, using, that is using the fuel. So we talk a lot. So this is all functioning. So you are going to lose weight here. If you are working with your hands, you start use, losing fat from your arms. So the volume is going down. You walk, you start losing it. But how many of us are doing sit-ups or any uh, kind of a work that would require not only the uh, shredded stomach, the, the uh, frontal muscles, but also the side muscles, that your love handles. Okay, who is using those? When you are sedentary, you don't. So, since you are not using those muscles, and they are, this is the fat that bothers you, which is the closest proximity. This is where this muscle would first get the fuel. Well, this is why these love handles and this little pot belly is lingering there. So if you want to lose the belly fat, the fastest way, fast, and while fasting, do regime of exercising, stomach muscles. There are a variety of exercises, which I hate them all, but I have to do them. Because otherwise, the bulge is there. And I would lose all the fat from the face, and bulge would remain. But if you are using those muscles, which are closest to the area that you want to lose fat from, well, engage those muscles. So when you are not eating, you are not supplying the energy through the food. The body has to go into the reserve. And it is going to go first to the places which are closest to the muscles that are using the fat. Bodybuilders, they want to have big muscles. Well, big muscle doesn't mean a lot of power. Yeah, more power than uh, in people that do not use muscles, but you don't need big muscle to be strong. Uh, again, on TikTok, on, on, on uh, uh, YouTube, you can see this Russian guy who is, you know, fooling around with heavyweights of these bodybuilders, chunky guys that are triple his size. And what they do with two hands, he does with one hand. So. Don't be afraid that you are going to lose muscle. You are going to lose the weight that is around the muscle uh, tissue. There are always deposits of fat there. Well, if you don't want to lose the bulk of the arm, well, when you are fasting, don't exercise your arms. Exercise areas where you want to trim down. Because once when you eat, the priority will be the triglycerides of the food that you ate. That's already in the bloodstream. Then goes into liver before the surplus gets stored in the adipose tissue. Another thing is when you are exercising and eating, but you want to lose some mass, some some fat tissue uh, while eating, then do not eat before exercising and do not eat at least two hours after you finish with your exercise. 
because your muscles will need food and if it is not provided through your diet well it will force the muscles to release it but keep in mind muscles that you exercised this is where primarily most of the fat is going to be released so again you want to get rid of bad belly don't eat before exercising do your stomach exercises and then after that don't eat another at least two hours so the energy is being replenished and then when you eat well most of the replacement energy already was released from your fatty tissue so when you eat this will continue now from food and there may not even be reason for the fat to be redeposited don't eat too much eat once a day so you can play with this fiddle with this adjustments but don't expect to lose belly fat by sitting on sofa and not eating this will be the last place where you are going to lose the fat after you are already looking like Mahatma Gandhi because that's a reserve okay so you will start using muscles for food before you tap into those reserves there's always a little bit fat there now when we are young we use stomach muscles a lot we do a lot of movements with the mid midsection with mid body so this is always being recycled and the absolute necessity part is always there there's a little bit like a thick skin those are deposits of the reserve of, of reserved fuel but when we are active and don't overeat then these reserves do not create fat belly it's when we become sedentary when we stop moving you can be working every day but what kind of work are you doing are you actually using those muscles that's a question most of us don't so we have to hit the gym and focus on those muscles to me those are boring exercises I don't care about uh, seeing the, 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 the muscle popped out but I hate bed, but pad belly you know you have pants you look okay but then there is this little bulge on the bottom Ay so because of this I gotta do these exercises not to have this bulge so this is how you go about it eat correctly don't overeat and exercise the area where you want to trim now bodybuilders they try to keep the muscle the, the fatty deposits around the muscles so instead of that when they want to look shredded they dehydrate themselves which is very stupid and very dangerous but hey you know to each own what is the more important thing in your life well some people have different preferences health should be number one everything else secondary unfortunately health is in the last place unless we hurt we don't care about it and once when we hurt it's a bit late so this you know losing a pot belly is not a science but can you control yourself can you do what is required
to achieve this. Now you understand the process? You understand what you have to do? Now it's up to you to do it or not. I guarantee you, if you are going to use stomach muscles, but not sit-ups are not enough, you are using one strain of muscles. You have to make side movements, all different movements to run all these muscles to draw the fat towards them to burn it. Okay, I think that's sufficient explanation. So keep at it, let me know how it goes. And uh, next time I talk to you, it will be in a new age. I love you all. God bless us all. Namaste.